One of the most common instructions in tennis is watch the ball. And we hear it over and over and over, but we still have a hard time really hitting that ball at the right spot at the right time. So why is watch the ball so complicated? Well, I think a lot of times people don't really understand what watching the ball really means. Everybody looks at the ball, that's obvious. The problem is that you're sometimes not looking at the ball at the right time. Let me try to clarify that. If I am playing tennis and the ball is on the other side of the court, I have a wide focus. I'm looking at the ball, I'm looking at the opponent, I'm looking at the court, I'm looking at the situation. As the ball nears to me, my focus needs to narrow. So as the ball gets closer, I'm focusing more and more on the ball. Once the ball bounces, the ball is my whole focus. And usually that's where the mistake lies. The ball bounces and we still have a little bit of a wider focus. We're hitting the ball and we're trying to watch where we're hitting instead of just focusing on the ball totally. So from the bounce to the hit, that's where the problem lies. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to pay more attention to the ball as it gets closer. So I'm going to show you a few exercises that are going to force you to really concentrate on the ball as it's close to you. The last foot, that is the key. That's what makes the difference. So on the first exercise, I am going to track the ball the whole time and I'm going to say bounce hit every time the ball bounces or somebody hits the ball. When the ball is on the other side and my partner hits the ball, I'm going to say hit. When it comes here and bounces, I'm going to say bounce. And when I'm hitting it, I'm going to say hit. The key to these exercises is to do it exactly at the right time. So I'm going to have to say bounce exactly as it bounces and hit exactly as it hits. Let's take a look. Bounce, hit. 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 Bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit. By really concentrating every time exactly when the ball is going to bounce and when you're going to hit, you, you're getting your mind away from any other thoughts. The ball is the focus and that is the key in tennis. For the next couple of exercises, the focus is also going to be the ball, especially as it comes closer. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to rally with my partner and stop the ball with the grip and then rally it back. So if I can move my body and stop the ball with the grip, I should have no problems hitting it in the middle. Let's take a look. So trying to stop the ball with the grip really forces me to watch the ball especially well after it bounces. In the, the same thing, I am going to try to do exactly the same thing with the return of serve. The return of serve is one of those shots where it's very easy to look up happening the serve is coming fast. So let's take a look at that. So I'm ready here to return. I watch the ball and I try to stop it. Do it again. If I really concentrate on looking at the ball hitting my grip, I understand the feel of really looking at the ball and then watching my racket swing by 
and hitting it. That is the key. One of the, as I mentioned earlier, one of the main problems is this last foot before the ball reaches the racket. That's when we have a tendency to look up and see where the ball is going to go. So one exercise to prevent us from doing that is going to have our heads freeze at contact without our eyes following the ball. Let's take a look at that. The surf is the same thing. A lot of times we think about watching the ball on everything, every other shot, but we forgot about the surf. We want to do the exactly the same thing on the surf. We want to make sure that your, our eyes are up and we're watching contact. So let's take a look at that. We're going to do exactly the same exercise but with the surf. At the beginning you might feel a little bit strange keeping that head up and it might be very difficult for some of you to do it because it's there you're so used to moving your head with the ball but after a while you will really understand what it means to stay focused at contact on the surf and that is really going to help your game.